more excited than I was nervous. This is just, I've been looking forward to this meet for years now, and I just am ready to come out here and give it everything I have. I feel like those clearances were just easy, you know, just part of like routine for you? Uh, yeah, my, do my dad told me to take today like a practice, so that's what I did, and I feel like they went well and everything was smooth and that Sunday I'm going to attack. Feel you like you're confident going into Sunday then? Yes, I'm very confident. Josh, Dave, do you think 184 was going to be it? And what, what did you, you passed on the first? Um, yes. So what, first. were you surprised it wasn't even higher day or you, that didn't matter to you, but uh, what do you think it would be? Um, no, I, I thought it would be over at six feet and a half. So I studied um, four years ago and that's how it was then. So I figured that's how it would be now. So my dad got me ready that way. What was your feelings the first time out there? You're, a, lot of expe a lot is expected of you. Um, I think that there's not as much pressure as there is um, on people who have been here before. I think that I've done well in the beginning of the season and that, yes, I'm here right now, but I don't think there's any pressure on me. Indoors, you went 199. Uh, you, know, you haven't jumped as high outdoors, but do you feel like you're positioned uh, in the fitness to get a PR at this meet? Um, yeah, I'm feeling really strong this meet, and I feel like I'm ready to PR now. So it's you playing all very, would you say that's a goal yes, coming into course. this? Yes, what do you want? Is that what you want to do Sunday? I mean, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, make the team, but personally. My thoughts, personally, I'm trying to win. I want to get first place and go into the Olympics, you know, with that kind of confidence. And I want to break the 2-0 barrier before the Olympics. So that's how I'm feeling right now. You would, as you do at meets, walk away. Did you see him? He obviously can't. It's di it was different, but did you? Did, was he able to tell you stuff? Was he able to give you some kind of guidance? What was he doing? Yeah, he was down low, the bleachers. So I just went over there every time he would call me. Or It's funny because I can hear him call my name, even if I'm across the whole stadium. Even in that stadium? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what what is he in between those jumps? What is he just telling you? Relax. He's telling me just yeah, technique. chill out. Just keep. Then he tells me get up and warm up. Like you're still strong. Just you know stuff to keep me mentally strong. How was it with Shantae? How how does she help you? Um, she's a great mentor. I think she's a amazing jumper and also an amazing person. And I think that she's just guided me through this process as well as she can and as well as anybody else would. So was this one of those things where you probably knew you'd get through but you needed to get it you needed to get it over you needed to be on that you know introduced and all that needed to get it out yes i just wanted this day to be over and just be in there for finals right have you met any acuff before today um no i haven't even met her today i just don't oh she's her. on the other side right yeah, yeah, yeah. no we're on the same pit oh, okay. i just don't really talk to people right that's true that's true okay but uh, is it impressive to you that someone who's 40 years old is out here doing this, jumping six feet? And yeah, I'm proud of her. I think she's great. After the years that she's competed, the fact that she still has the fight to come back and compete again, I think that's amazing, and I hope that I'm like that when I'm older. I was good.